following my last video, which was my least favorite horror tropes, this video is going to be my favorite horror tropes. This is pretty hard because there are a lot of themes and settings and tropes and those kinds of things that I love about horror. I'm sure that we could all come up with more than 10, but here's what I settled on. Horror trope number one, set on Halloween. I love this. A horror movie that is set on Halloween is just one of the best because it's also got that spooky atmosphere in the setting and then the spooky events that are happening. I think about like Trick or Treat, this movie I watched called Hellbent, that was another good one. Just anything where there are like jack-o'-lanterns and people in costume and all that, I don't know. That's perfect and honestly there aren't really that many horror movies set on Halloween. Like we, we can do better, like we can do more. I don't think there's such a thing as too many. The next trope slash theme that I love is a group of random people that are like trapped together in some way or just like confined together. There are a lot of examples of this, such as Dawn of the Dead, you know, post-apocalyptic or in the middle of an apocalypse where people are just together that wouldn't know each other any other way. I think of also this M. Night Shyamalan movie called Devil, this movie where all these people are trapped in an elevator together just like random people. I love to see that. I love when we get just like all these different random types of people and I love their interactions together, like seeing how they decide to work together or sometimes how they have a falling out or turn on each other. That's just one of my absolute favorite things and I also love to see that happening in real life. I don't know what it is. The next trope I love is the remote, isolated location. Even better if there's some element of being stranded. A cabin in the woods, uh, I don't know, like being on a boat at sea. I love the remote location. That never gets old. And any type of being stranded, like whether it's the phones don't work, your car doesn't work, the roads are washed out, like there's a blizzard, whatever. I think that really sets the scene. And it's something that we can all relate to at some point in our lives. So that's part of like why I like some of these tropes is because you can take them with you. You can take them with you into real life and it just makes them all the more relatable, but it also makes your real life experiences all the more spooky when you're like, oh my gosh, like what if the phones went out here? <laughs> Or what if what if our car broke down on this road? We wouldn't see anyone forever. <laughs> ah, next. This was very specific, but I love mist and fog. Mm. I just don't think it is done enough because people probably think it's cheesy or and it's not realistic, but I love a foggy cemetery or some misty woods. Ah, oh, it's always so good. And then of course there are some movies that even put fog and mist in the interiors of a building. And yeah, that's not realistic, but I freaking love it. Obviously there are a lot of things that uh, could make, say, a cemetery scene extra spooky, but I just feel like that mist is just, is the, key, the king when it comes to spooky atmosphere. Trope number five, man, the haunted house. Okay, maybe not like literally haunted, but just that big, old, creaky, slightly run down house. I love the haunted house trope. I love when like a family is moving into the house or whatever. I just love a haunted house. Every time I see a beautiful house that seems like it should be in a movie, I'm like, yeah, the house is haunted. And I don't mean it literally, but it's just like, it's a vibe of a house, you know? Houses are always just like really important to me in a movie. I like when it's a house that you kind of know your way around or a house that's charming or really a house that has personality of its own. And I love when it has a way of just seeming like you may not be alone in it. But don't get me wrong, I do love a traditional haunted house that actually does have a ghost in it or a demon or whatever. Ah, the next trope I love is fake blood. Jalo 
made me like this. The just like uber red, neon red blood with a blood that just looks like straight up ketchup or straight up paint. I love it because it's just like, it pops, you know? And again, like what I said with the mist, this doesn't have to look like real life. It can look better. We don't have to stay true to life. This is, this is cinema, you know? So I love that popping fluorescent red blood. Oh, and I love when it gushes and like <laughs> does things that real life blood wouldn't do. It's so fun. It's so fun. So I hate when people are like, that looks so fake. <laughs> the next trope I love to see in horror is country folk. I love these American horror movies set in the South or set in Appalachia or really just rural areas in general, but especially the South because I live in the South. I love that whole like, you ain't from around here, are you? You best go back where you came from. Like, ah, it's just, it kind of goes along with the feeling of isolation or being in a remote area. I just think it is so frightening because it, again, in real life, you can take that with you. It really is frightening sometimes when you're like on a road trip and you're going through this town where you're like, oh, like, they know, they know I'm not from here. <laughs> I think of movies like uh, Wrong Turn and stuff like that. It's such an awesome theme in my opinion. The next trope I love is a good old road trip. Maybe a road trip with like a group of friends in a car. And it is, again, traveling into unknown territory. So it has that feeling of mystery and not knowing what's around the curve, literally. And again, this is like fear you can take with you into your real life. You know, we've all been on road trips. So we will go on road trips in the future. And I guess this could encompass, you know, truck stops, motels, places you stop, uh, getting lost. There's so much goodness that comes along with a road trip. The next trope I love is the thunderstorm. This too is one that might be seen as cheesy because, you know, what are the chances that the killer is killing in the middle of a huge thunderstorm, right? Like, that's silly. Same with the foggy cemetery or whatever. This is something that can carry over into real life. Again, if it's like raining outside and thundering outside, oh, I really want to watch a rainy horror movie because I love when you can kind of like, what do you call that? But like unity between your movie and reality. And there is still to this day, something so scary about that crashing thunder and just the way the rain like obscures everything and you know you have these like childlike fears but then you also have these adult fears like what if this lightning strikes something or what if our power goes out <laughs> or did I leave anything in the yard or whatever. So I think thunderstorms kind of just add that atmosphere of making it spooky and it's just that it's like this gothic element that I still love to see in any type of horror. And finally, the last trope is one I kind of already hinted at, power out and phones down. <laughs> and I know sometimes we have to get a little more creative nowadays. How to write the cell phone out of the story, right? But any way they have to come up with it, I don't mind. Like some people are tired of that, but I'm like, do whatever you have to do for us to not have service because that makes it all the more fun. The phone lines cut, the, the breaker box flipped, or the storm put the, the lights out. I am here for it. It kind of goes along with being stranded or isolated, always here for it. So keep on, keep on with that. Keep on with all of these. Don't listen to anyone when they say they've been done too much. Okay, that was my list of my top 10 favorite horror movie tropes. I could probably think of 10 more pretty easily, but let me know what your favorite horror movie tropes are. Or if you disagree with some of these, it's totally fine. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. This is a place where we can disagree with each other respectfully. I do wish I had thought of more movie examples for each of these tropes. I should have done that. That would have been fun. Next video, I gotta get serious. I gotta review a movie or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll give some uh, more dense content next time. But uh, that's all I have for you now. Ciao!